Hi folks, how are we all doing today? Today we will be learning about um, weather app again. <laughs> okay, don't worry. So today you'll learn uh, JSON about JSON data and also how to view that data properly, right? Along with that, you will also learn like how to fetch other information, right? So now um, before starting off with anything like in the previous session, we only have fetched, uh, I think we only have fetched temperature, right? But not any other thing. So today we will see how to fetch other data also, like uh, getting the humidity value and other stuff like that. I will just show you how to do that. Okay. So you can get the latitude and longitude values of your region, right? And many other stuff. Okay. So we'll see all those things. Before that, what you, will, what you will have to do is you will have to subscribe to my channel if you're new here, right? Along with that, uh, if you can share this to the those kids who can't really afford for coding uh, courses and all, please do share uh, this to all of such, all those kids, right? This is going to be really helpful and it really helps them a lot because um, I'm just telling all those information which they need in a very precise way and you're getting some very cool content over here and i would definitely love you all to share this to all that possible kids who want to learn coding and who also doesn't want to learn coding right yeah uh, okay so let's just get back to our content today before starting off with the app i'll tell you you can just search for jason um jason viewer Oh, sorry, I just clicked on JSON formatter, JSON viewer, Chrome extension, right? So when you just search for it, you will get a JSON viewer Chrome extension. So just go to the web store, Chrome web store, and you will have to download one extension, JSON viewer. So this is JSON viewer. You can actually get this or... Um, I think let's go back to extensions if there's any search thing. I know one one of it, JSON view. So let's get this thing. Mm. Mm, it's not. just not giving that okay no issues any however any json viewer will work right so why to just search for the one which is not available right now uh, yeah let's just click on add to chrome and add this add extension so this will just add that extension over here uh, then you will be just seeing that over here right so when you click on it you can see yeah we have uh, json viewer thing here right so if you want to see this you can pin it yeah just click on pin to pin the json viewer here right so if you have this extension what happens is you can actually see the json format files right like the web API is going to give you a uh, JSON output, right? JSON means JavaScript object notation. Okay. Today, I will just tell you how the object notation will look like JavaScript object notation thing. Uh, what is the, um, like how the alignments and all will be there and how the object uh, notation is going to be, right? So with this extension only, you can get that. Okay. So... I'll just uh, now just close this thing. Yeah, this was the thing, JSON viewer. Uh, yeah, I was searching for this JSON view. However, any, any extension is fine, no problem at all. I hope this should work. Let's just quickly run this. Yeah, you can see this is how the JSON formatted data will look like. And this is the JSON format, okay? Now, basically, uh, it is giving the coordinates, right? It is giving the weather output. It is giving temperature, temperature, min, max, pressure, humidity, right? Wind speed, okay? Country, 
time zone all these things are given as the output you can fetch all these things almost okay but now i i'll be just showing you uh, how to fetch latitude and longitude values okay humidity okay and we will also fetch the country right so all these things uh, will fetch today right so to do those things like we were discussing first thing is we need uh, humidity latitude longitude and country humidity latitude longitude and country so totally four we need that means i'm just going to click on temperature label here this last label and i'll duplicate okay so got one of this instead of temperature label this will be humidity label okay so humidity label just duplicate this based on this same logic you can actually fetch any data no problem okay then next one would be let's say latitude latitude label let's duplicate and we'll say this as longitude label longitude label okay and lastly we have to duplicate this and we'll write it as country right yeah these are the five information we will be fetching okay so let's quickly go to blocks and do that right now what i am doing so i have all these information already uh, don't worry here there should be a block right i've just removed it uh, because i have pasted the api key and i don't want to show that to all right so that's why um, i've just removed it and placed it somewhere elsewhere okay don't worry about that block for now but yes how to fetch the data and all let's check it out okay so this is just the same last class code right what i'm gonna do on this now first thing will be we will have to fetch the humidity thing right so set humidity label text to so let's get this thing right now how to get the humidity value is from main humidity right so same thing we can just copy paste this thing right attach it over here so you are getting the humidity value okay so now before uh, adding this what i will do i'll just go to text and get the join block right so i'll join this wait we'll remove the world thing and instead of hello we'll say humidity humidity colon and give a space okay now here also we can do the same thing let's do it uh, why not when you have the opportunity to do it let's let's use this thing so i'll just duplicate this one now let's paste it over here instead of humidity this is going to be temperature so temperature okay now then humidity right then next thing is latitude label so let's just uh, click on latitude label and get set latitude label text to now i'll just duplicate this let's just attach this over here okay so instead of humidity we can say latitude okay now you will get the latitude value from the chord right coordinates 
so here is the latitude so go bottoms up lat and then coord coord means coordinates okay so here you will write lat here you will write coord that's it okay this is how uh, this is how it's going to be just duplicate this thing right i'm just doing control c and control v if you want you can just right click and duplicate also that is also fine right so instead of latitude label we'll choose longitude label and instead of latitude we'll say longitude colon symbol give us space instead of lat we'll have to write lon because for longitude it says lon so that's why and lastly we have to get country right so country is here within the system object right so let's say bottoms up country and system so control c and v let's place it down over here let's just scroll up instead of longitude label country label so instead of longitude we will write country so it was just saying country so country and then it is um, sis so i'll write sis okay that's it so this is how you will be doing the things right and you will fetch the complete data okay not only these how many ever fields you add those many things you can get right so all these you can get as outputs like all these things which are present over here right temperature min temperature max you can get these things you can get the description main id all these things you can get okay now let's just live test this and check if if everything is um, given as the output right so before that i will just have to add the api key block there so now let's just check the output as i have added the api key thing so now okay we have all the fields here let's check out with hyderabad temperature is 20 humidity is this latitude longitude country wow it is absolutely fine humidity here it is showing 72 right oh i'm getting the uh, temperature i think so that's the reason it's giving me the thing yeah i have not changed this thing on the get property right that's why it is just showing the same value humidity okay humidity main inside main we have humidity okay see uh, inside okay wait inside main object we have humidity that's why we are getting it so let's go to live test again let's check it out again so other values were uh, properly given hyderabad get temperature live test it oh i uh, got this it is actually not giving the values because i have um, i have reached the limit it only gives you values till 3 uh, okay got it at least fine right so now maybe that that was a small glitch right i thought api calls i only have a limited number of calls i think because i am not ha having a membership of open weather right so i just thought in that way but yes it is actually accepting the request and giving me so this is uh, i think this is open source only so you all can get the links um, if you just join open weather and you can get it okay so yeah here we are getting latitude longitude country humidity and temperature values not only these you can fetch whatever value you need that is that that is completely based on the need right so what is your need what do you want how when do you want to call it so you just have to see this the url thing you have to give the url properly only then this will work because this is web api right so without the url uh, nothing will work basically right so 
you are getting the complete values of on your app just on your behalf like on your app's behalf you are just requesting it to the api api is going and fetching the data again the data will be in the api itself right so api will be giving you the data okay the response right so this is just acting like a waiter in a restaurant we discussed about this in the previous session also okay and javascript object notation this is how the javascript object notation is going to look like right so it will just have the object name first and then colon within the curly brackets it will have all the properties and values right so temp value of the temp feels like temperature min temperature max pressure humidity likewise we have visibility wind clouds and so on all this information okay basically so this complete information is um, in the object notation itself and this is the object notation of javascript right now yeah this was all about our today's session right i hope you all guys love it and like it so please do share like comment and subscribe to my channel folks up okay so this was all about our today's session guys let's meet in the other section thank you so much for watching this video and um, please do share it how much ever possible right so yeah this is all bye bye and have a great day all thank you so much for watching this video